right, welcome back to this next video, uh, which is also a customization uh, in education module again. I uh, just want to share something with you, and hopefully you can use that. Nothing earth-shattering. Um, anyway, before I go into it, you might hear my sound is a little bit different. Got a better quality sound system, so hopefully you guys like that. Let's dive straight into it. What I did is, um, as I say again, it's nothing earth-shattering. And what I'm trying to do is share with you even these small little customizations and the reason for that is um, is actually well to me it's actually quite important because when I started with ERP Next I almost vowed not to use customization you know I've got to use ERP Next the way it is and I've since changed my view because I mean you can make things a lot simpler and better looking all those things by doing some customization and it really doesn't always have to be you know climb in there and it's just spanners and blow torches and soldering irons as you write javascript and python code you can do rather nice things the simplest of things on the front if you for instance want to filter your um, uh, um which one did i have just now uh, you you want to filter your courses and the filter doesn't exist you know you add the filter Okay, um, that simply is just uh, two or three clicks and you can filter for, uh, for a particular um, type of course. You've got 100 courses and you want to filter for this particular type of course and it lists five of them. That really is just adding a filter field there. The previous customization video which I made a little bit, just a step up from that, where you actually created um, a, a form, but it's you don't need any JavaScript, you don't need any Python because there's no data manipulation. It basically is just populating the fields. And that was that uh, delivery sheet one. If you haven't watched that, maybe you can just go back and watch what I did there. But it really is just populating fields, and it saves it in a database, um, and you can display these entries that you've saved and sort and filter it. It really is uh, everything front end, nothing back end. Uh, this particular one, there is a bit of scripting involved, very little bit, but it's still on the front end. Let me first show you what I did, and then we can go through what I actually did. Uh, on the course, if you create a new course, now of course you'll see this now, just pretend this is not here. Previously when you said add a row, and you clicked on the assessment criteria, it'll list all the assessment criteria here. All right. Now, in my case, I had a, um, I've had got a, a course, which I call D20 and D400 and F500 and whatever. Forget about what it means. It's just numbers. Um, so to make only... Oh, by the way, I'm creating a course now. Yeah, let's say the D20, the first one. I only want all the criteria for D20 up here. So I click on here and I say D20 and then when I click on the criteria it filters it based on the assessment criteria which has been all grouped under criteria group for D20. All right, so I just uh, you, you don't have to worry. These are all the correct ones. You can now focus on which one do I want now. Now, of course, that assessment criteria group that has been referred to already exists. Assessment criteria group, there it is. And I've popped, forget about these two. You know, you can add F500 and L600, whatever. Uh, these codes, it really doesn't matter. It's just a course. Um, so you can add another group. And of course, once you, and the criteria also already exists, it's not that I created it, the assessment criteria is there, and when you add another one, it says which group does it belong to, and you select the group and you enter the criteria. All right, so all that already exists. It's just a matter that on the course form, I want to be able to uh, select that the criteria that is available to me belongs to only a certain group. All right, so how did I do that? First up is to uh, add this field. All right, 
And how do you do that? You say customize form, and of course you fill in, you select which one it was, it was a course form, and you select that, and that shows the entire course form, the definition of that form. And all I did is I added this ninth one. Right, it's a link field. Um, how did I do that? I said add row, and I simply selected these two fields. You don't have to worry about this unless you want some particular name, but it auto-generates it when you save. All right, so when you say new, you fill in that. Well, I'll show you now. You fill in that, you fill in link, and in my case, I tick the in-list view because I wanted to in the in-list in view, and of course, you say I'm linking it to that um, table. All right. Assessment criteria group or doc type. And that's it. It auto generates this name for you. Okay, so that's how I created that field. And how did I do this where it says um, actually links these two together? It's a small little script. So you say custom script list. And then you'll see it's only one. If you haven't done anything, it'll be blank. All you say is new, and you fill in the name course there, and it'll auto-populate some basic lines. Um, I'll show you now. Uh, if you go to this one, obviously it's already done. It'll auto-populate that and that for you. All I And it says there, your code here, yeah, and you enter your code there. That's all I added is this. All right, so obviously you're going to be some coding. Um, if you're totally unfamiliar with coding, I'm not going to present a coding course here because I'm also um, at the beginning of my JavaScript and Python career. All coding that I've already always done in my life was C coding. So, um, But there's one or two things on JavaScript that if you tweak that, it becomes a lot easier. Anyway, so you can Google some code. If there's somebody that has something similar, you just change the fields. But basically it says, um, I'm setting the filters, all right, based on doc.assessmentCriteriaGroup. Now that's the field that I created. So it sets the filters based on the selection which you make in that field. And it applies these filters to the assessment criteria. And that's it. All right. And you say save. And you reload this whole lot, go to settings, reload, and that really should be it. Uh, well, I've already shown you, but I thought let's just, towards the end, do that again. So you click, and if you say add your criteria, you can select now. All right. And that really is it. So hopefully you can take that, twist it around a little bit and apply it in your application.